Welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judah. I'm Jake. And Gabe's not here. Gabe is not coming back, so. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Hope you don't watch this, Gabe. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, he doesn't. Anyways, we went and we watched Never Let Go. Starring H- Haley Berry. Thank you. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. And I'm guessing maybe her two sons? I don't no, know. No, they're, no, they're, they're not, not her son. No? no, okay. No, no. <laughs> we'll get to... Does um, anybody know? Is she mixed? Because in the movie, they make it seem like she... First of all, what makes no sense is they picked a really big, hideous, white, fat woman to be her oh, mom. Oh, well, I mean, come on. You couldn't really go, oh, this is what her mom... Because she's like... <laughs> she was never once, like, human form. She's never once like she was still white not, and, and she, she was, was still never fat. She was never a not a deadite. Okay, that's true. So this is billed as a horror movie. Yeah, we thought going into it because the you thought especially because of the movie previews it was going to be a bait and switch, where it's like oh this is a horror movie. Psych. It's the village. I nice. spoiled Which, the whole thing right like right out of the gate. You just gave the whole thing away. Yeah, very villagey. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for stealing what I, my thoughts were. Now, what am I, I, I going to say? I just took them from him. Uh, exactly. Oh, um, maybe be original. Oh, <laughs> and you won't have that issue. Oh. I have to say that I thought, you know, the acting was, was serviceable. It was fine. Yeah, it, it, di- it didn't make me go, oh. Especially for having two young actors in it. They were yeah, pretty good. They did yeah. a decent job. Yeah. The aesthetics were pleasing to me. Pleasing. The setting being... Uh, a lone house in the forest. Uh, being Evil Dead. There were a lot yeah, of Evil house, Dead connections here. It, no, but Evil Dead, the house a lot is a harbinger of evil, where in this movie it's I mean, safety. The, 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 you know, under no, the, the, that's the, true. You know, that is true. I spoiler mean, warning, by the way. All spoilers we potentially have. Tell Let me, them. I'm gonna get, the synopsis is, is there's a woman with her two twin boys living in this house, and you are led to believe that it's somewhat of a post-apocalyptic type event right? where some kind of an evil has been released on the world and they apparently have the only safe place... Safe haven, yeah. ...where they can stay from the evil as long as they're attached to this house in some way, right. which so they, they tie they, ropes. They, type, they, they kind of worship this house uh, in a way. Um, that is true. They're, they're starving. They have a little dog that is starving, Uh and so throughout the movie, the boys tend to get more and more frustrated. I think the one, the youngest twin, yes, the youngest gets more twin. and more frustrated uh, throughout the movie with that hunger that he uh, starts to question his mom and question everything that she's told him and, you know, starts calling her a liar. And, you know, in just a just flip of a switch, man, it's like, psych, mom, shink. Cuts the rope and is like, there's nothing wrong. Yep. So. For me, this movie delivers everything the trailer tells you it will be. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, literally, the movie is just like an hour, 40-minute version of the two-minute trailer. Yeah, it really is, yeah. Whereas the trailer just gives you this thought of, is this woman crazy? Mm. Is she the danger to these mm. children? And the movie... The whole time, you're just questioning. Because she can only see these things to begin with. Yes. She can only see the evil to begin with. It's not showing itself to the kids. And so you're just meant to think, okay, she's clearly crazy. She killed her husband. Mm -hmm. She killed her father. She killed her mother. Clearly, she's going to be the danger. And in in a way... In a way, she is both. It's both. Both of those... Uh, um, some Nazis come true in the movie, yeah. I believe, is she's both a danger to them and there is a real evil uh, chasing them. When we were driving back from the cinema, we were having this discussion. Yeah. And I'm like, so what was the point of this movie? Because even though Jake brought it up, I'm just saying, on the way back, I said, it was very much the village. Yeah, I was but for the like, same thought. He stole my thoughts in the car. <laughs> His unspoken thoughts. Yes. Yeah. So, whereas the village, the whole point was bad things happen to these people. Mm -hmm. They cut themselves off from the world to protect themselves from that evil, and yet there was still an evil within that attacked them. And then when they leave the safety, they still find good outside. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I, I this kind of felt like the same thing. Yeah. Except... On a, it's a smaller scale. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know. Actually, a more... When you th- say it that way, it's actually more believable. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like... Because in the village, you have a cult, yeah. essentially. Here, you have a family. And from the very beginning, these kids don't know any different. Mm-hmm. And she brings out a... A camera at one point, and they are like, "What is this?" You know. Yeah. I thought that was kind of interesting. It really kind of gave you a grasp on uh, these kids. Really have not seen anything outside mm-hmm. of what her, their mother wants them to see. Yeah. Um, so. So this whole movie, you're questioning if the narrator is even trustworthy, and then you see something, and you're like, "Oh, the narrator is trustworthy." But then something else happens, and you're like, "Wait, Psych. they're Maybe not." That? So the whole time, you're just back and forth like, what the heck? It was very confusing. Um, I would have rather have known, like, okay, from the get-go, this evil is out here. It's coming after him. I thought it would have been much scarier at that point, and I think they could have really pushed it because I, I feel like the, the director, and they were so focused on pushing the um, uh, dichotomy of... Uh, her being, you know, mm. crazy or there being evil out there instead of just focusing on one or the other, which I think could have been done much better. So mm-hmm. I would rather would have gone known like, okay, she's totally nuts. These kids need, need to get away and they need, you know, yeah. and that would have been a better story in my opinion than just, you know, I don't know. I still can't at the end. You're still kind of like, Oh, uh, what was happened? She? Yeah. I what? Yeah. At, at some point, you know, she she offs herself, and you just go, okay, that's the end of the movie. Yeah, you know, like, well, if she was crazy, then this is the end of the movie yeah. right here, and it's not. And so you're like, okay, so I have to start thinking. I fell asleep, <laughs> and uh, you know, you guys know me. I don't ever fall asleep during movies, ever. Um, so this one was, uh, <laughs> yeah. So in, in my opinion, it was okay. It was good for what it was. What would you, what would you rate it? I'm, I'm just going to give it a five out of 10, Okay, which is just an average movie. There's nothing that would make me tell somebody don't go see this or don't watch it at all. I would, I would definitely. But you wouldn't, but you wouldn't also go in, out of your way to say, hey, go watch Absolutely this. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, I, I got out of the theater thinking, and mind you, I've only watched 60% of it, uh, going, <laughs> going, oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell so-and-so about this movie. There have been movies like that with It. I felt that way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was just like, oh man, I can't wait to tell so-and-so about this. I can't wait to watch this again with them and see what they think. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, I'd give it a six out of 10 just because there were some good okay. scares in there, but I think that the, uh, the practical effects were done really well. Oh, at the end. That's right. I did like that. Yeah. I, I thought it was really good in that effect. Like just the, I mean, cause there was a point where Halle Berry is, it's the demon Halle Berry or the snake Halle Berry or mm-hmm. whatever. Cause you, you don't, that's the, the other thing is you don't ever get told what this evil really is. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, it came in the snake form. It went, it's like, what is it supposed to be Satan then? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, okay. with uh, Adam and Eve type deal? Or, you know, what what exactly is this? Um, but she does turn into a snake person. But she rips out of her skin at one point, And the practical effects were fantastic. Yeah, that was good. With that. And it was very uh, reminiscent of Alien. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with the chest bursters and stuff like that. So I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I wouldn't tell anybody, hey... You got to go watch this, but I wouldn't tell them not to at the same time. You know, the effects. I did. There's one effect where this, the little boy is chasing after a little girl in the forest and she disappears behind the tree and then she climbs up the tree. But all you see are multiple arms just, and I, that I didn't get scared, but I liked it. It gave me this like, yeah, they gave me a creepy feeling inside that I was like, I like that. I like that. There was, I think... A completely unearned jump scare right at the effing beginning of this movie. Oh, that was so cheap, man. Were you talking about where she was having a dream and all of a sudden? I don't the, all the, I remember. The dead thing s- screams. Yes. Yeah, that's, that was. I was like, God, dude, why? I haven't completely. Even, I haven't even gotten my popcorn and drink set up yet. I'm like, 
Why? And it was right at the beginning. We're talking like within five minutes of this movie. Oh, yeah. You don't even know what the movie is about. And they're just like, ma and it's like, yeah, that was. I will say then too that um, during the practical effects were good, but the um, CG CG was fucking tongue awful. was stupid. No, not just that. It was just that when she like disintegrated. Mm, yeah, that that was, was that was so reminiscent of uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> like, like when when he uh, yeah, uh you yeah. know Gandorf or whatever what whatever what's his name uh, disintegrates uh-huh. towards the end, and it's just like. Yeah, it, it looked just like that. It was I get so that. bad. I get it was that. so bad. Um, but anyways, uh, you know that's so between the two of us, we'll give it a five point five out of ten. Yeah, uh, go see it. Tell us your thoughts. Uh, we'd love to hear it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, we've been creeping it real later. <laughs>